Namaste and welcome to Talk for Fitness. These are chair exercises that I'm going to show you today for people who are unable to stand and exercise, perhaps because of mobility issues, or you may be getting better from an illness or a hospital stay, and you just want to get back on your feet. So exercise is definitely part of your recovery program in addition to sound medical advice from your doctor and a good diet as well. So let's proceed. As so usual, let's start with a warm up. Just gently bring your legs up. So I want you to have a firm wooden chair for this exercise. Don't have a plastic chair. You can topple the ball. Open your shoulders. A lot of people have shoulder issues, so this is a good stretch for your shoulder as well. Sit straight. So each exercise will be for 40 seconds with a 10 second break. And then if you're very tired from your illness, feel free to do just the first three, four exercises. Take a break and do it again, maybe in the evening. So split it up, make it your own, make it work for you. All right, so I'll start my timer here. So first one is just a high knee march. And then bring up your opposite hand by your ear. Sit on a firm wooden chair, not a plastic chair that is wobbly. Let it give you good support. Feel free to take a longer break between each exercise if you're getting short of breath, right? Since you're not in the best of your health, possibly. So the next one will be again a high knee march, but we will have a punching action in the front, very gently. Start by raising your knees, and then take your opposite hand, punch. If I'm going too fast for you, feel free to go a little slower, not a problem. when you're ill, even these simple exercises can make you short-winded and that's not surprising. So go slow, take it easy. All right, so the next exercise, let's give our legs a break. And just exercise our arms, so sit straight. So, just do this as fast as you can. If you can, you can do this. Or if you can, just do it a little slow. Be consistent in your exercise. Feel free to split it up. Maybe half in the morning, half in the evening. Whatever works for you by your own your own to recovery. All right, so the next exercise, we we'll just do a simple um, sideward motion here. Out, out, in, in, right? Okay, so let's start. Out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. If you find these movements too complicated, sometimes it helps to say it out loud or say it in your mind it helps you do the exercise. So you don't have to lift your knee very high for this. Just gently lift it up on the other side and then bring it back inside. Out, out, in, in. You can feel free to put your arms here. As always, mind your posture, sit straight. exercise let's give our legs a break again okay hold your arms like this and then open up so with this you can also add a march again okay this is similar to what we did in the warm-up 
but you can do this as well or if you're tired just go back to doing this do it a little bit quicker than you did in the warm-up uh, section or you feel up to it you can add a high knee march to this as well remember when you're trying to get back from an illness our legs are very important our quadriceps becomes very very weak so doing these simple uh, high knee marches really go a long way in helping you get up and walk and regain some balance okay so now I just want you to clasp your hands like this come slightly to the edge here and then do a figure of eight so if you're unable to do a figure of eight you find this too difficult you can just swing your arms from side to side scoop down scoop down come up scoop down come up or you can do a figure of eight so although these are sitting exercises on the chair it's actually a total body workout because you're working your lateral abdominal muscles now your abdominal muscles your hands your legs your arms everything so the next exercise we just do a simple crunching motion to the opposite leg so i want you to hold your hands like this do not clasp do not pull your head, pull your neck just gently hold it and then bring your elbow to the opposite knee if you're able to you can draw your knee further up if you're not able to just a gentle lift is fine As always, if you find any particular exercise difficult, feel free to completely omit it. No problem at all. Hit the pause button and proceed to the next one. All right. So the next exercise. They're just trying to run in place. Feel free to just hold your arms here. If you really feel up to it, you can do this. This is too much for you. Yeah, this is fine. Do it as fast as you can. Pick up your feet. extend your leg okay all right so do this and if you're able to bring your opposite arm and touch you either your knee or your shin or you're unable to bring your legs down like legs up like this you can even do this much right yeah, so whatever you're able to do, do your best. Okay, so the next exercise, we'll do a rotational movement. Just hold your hands like this. a water bottle for this in fact for several of these exercises you can hold a water bottle so turn your entire body just don't turn your neck and strain your neck Bring your arms like this, clasp it, bring it to one side, 
three to one side. One side on the other. Try to use some energy when you're bringing it down. Like you're hitting a log of wood. On either side. Alternatingly, up like this. Give some energy to it. Again, you can carry a water bottle for this. This is too easy. You can even do this. This is fine too, even better. Do this. So the next exercise, just bring your alternate leg to the side. Like this. Okay, so let's start it. Just bring your legs alternate motion like this to the side and to the center. To the side and to the center. Okay, and then when you're doing this, see if you can bring your opposite arm up. A little coordination yeah you can also turn like this even better a little bit of rotational movement or you can just do this This is the end of today's workout and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it beneficial. If you do like our videos as usual, please share it with your family and friends and subscribe to us as well. Thank you.